Dance at Girls in Tech. Come on in. My name is Leah LaPointe. I am in 11th grade and I'm in culinary arts. My name is Natalie Acosta. I am a 10th grader in culinary arts. My name is Courtney. I'm in culinary arts and I'm in fourth grade. I selected culinary because I've always wanted to cook since I was little. I've always wanted to explore the world, make many different cuisines, make my own recipes. I've always just wanted to be in the kitchen. I think it's cool to watch people work on the line. Growing up, I did a lot of cooking with parents, family, and I always had an interest in it and I kind of wanted to evolve my knowledge on it. I selected culinary for my trade because I love to cook, but it's so much more. There's so much out there that you can involve cooking into. It can go everywhere and anywhere you want it to. I've learned so many skills throughout the way, but I think that temperature and time management were the top skills that we learned. Um, of course, time management is applied throughout all my life, whether it's cooking or not. We have done a lot of baking techniques, um, breads, cakes, we've done knife skills, um, safety on knife skills. We've learned sanitation skills. We just learned seafood last week. We learned chicken, we've learned meat. It's such a large collection of things, but you remember it all because we do hands-on and it's just a lot of fun. I think learning from my chef instructors, I can acquire skills from them and I can see how different chefs work so that when I go into the field later on in life, I can see how I want to teach and just different skills that I wouldn't have learned, perhaps maybe just going directly into a culinary field. There's all these employability skills that are really important for our kids to, uh, to learn and to acquire. Every morning we'll meet at the board and we'll talk about how we're going to work today and how we're going to have our strategy play out. And things always change. And part of the business environment is just that. How do you adapt to change? It becomes this teamwork then, which is really something that all employers are looking for. And I think it's important that people know there's so much more kids get out of this than just this degree that they get from a high school. Before COVID, we had the restaurant open to the public. It was run just like an everyday restaurant. A lot of people find it hard to believe that high school students are running a restaurant. But right now, because of COVID, um, no one is allowed in the restaurant yet. We shifted to a full pickup model. Then we just added on the service of delivery to rooms. We looked at it as we can't just stop what we're doing and so many businesses were struggling at that time and the ones who were truly successful were the ones who just decided we have to change our what we're doing going forward otherwise we're not going to be here anymore. And I think that's a very valuable lesson to teach our kids is that you can't just stop when you're, you're given a barrier, you have to figure out how to get around it. And I think that's really important. You have to bring your students in and have them think at a higher level as far as how, how what we teach here relates to the real world. I think the most important thing is, is that we're getting them ready for the next step, going right into the industry if that's what needs to happen for them. Our credentials that we give here are very valuable in the workplace. We received our food safe handlers. We received our COVID training. OSHA training certification. And recently we have done a SurfSafe COVID training certifications. Having a SurfSafe certification kind of gives me more like a leg up to get new opportunities out in the field. SurfSafe is one of the most recognized uh, credentials in our business nationally. But then there's also the Safe Food Handler, which is a, an introduction into uh, the bigger picture, which is in, ultimately when they're in their, in their uh, upper level classes, they're now learning about their food protection manager certification, which is something that the industry really looks to. A lot of people in the food industry don't have their certifications because it's not mandatory unless you are a manager. It's really good to be able to say, I have the certification, I know what I'm doing. It, it shows that level of understanding. We've heard countless stories from our grads that when they have that certification, they are at the top of the heap right away in an interview process. Sometimes we've had kids get interviewed and hired on the spot because of having that credential. I absolutely think there is a demand for this type of work in Connecticut. You look everywhere and there's food everywhere. It's such a big industry. After graduating, as I'm slowly going through college, I'm hoping to go up into the industry and become a chef. My plan is after graduating, I'm gonna go to Johnson & Wales and study culinary. As soon as you're done with high school, you already have your certifications. It's way easier for you if you decide in college you want a part-time job or you just wanna go out to the workforce. What most people are looking for nowadays is people with knowledge already. I feel like this trade is gonna help me a lot in the future.